Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Paul, aka your friendly neighborhood spoiler man, and we have some brand new looks at the figures for the upcoming Spider-Man film, No Way Home. People said no way is this trailer ever going to release, but the fact that the figures are dropping now does tease that it's right around the corner. Now throughout this video we're going to be going through each one of them and giving our reaction to it as well as how we think it plays into the movie. I haven't got a script for this video and I'm just going to be freestyling it like, like Spider-Man, Spider-Man, go to swing through the city because of driving bands, pull, <laughs> pull out the web, call him flying man out of the fire into the frying pan still still got it still still got the skills now the first one is the integrated spider-man suit which looks a lot like the iron spider one however there have been some upgrades to it and it also looks like it possesses some of the doctor strange portals that we can see on the chest and also his wrist either spider-man's been taking lessons from the sorcerer supreme or these are sort of upgrades to his costume since the death of tony stark the blue on it does look a lot like the holographic technology that was used to design a suit in Far From Home, so personally that's kind of what I'm going with. Now this suit was shown on LEGO figures yesterday and we got a great look at it, and personally I think it looks really really good. I know a lot of people have problems with it, but yeah it, it just kind of looks like they've kind of built on the Iron Spider design and made it more in line with the Civil War one from the comics, so I really like it, but <laughs> thumbs down to there if you don't. Now onto the next one and we see Doctor Strange with a shovel. Obviously, if you've seen the first look at the film, you'll know that the Sanctum Sanctorum is completely covered in dust, so I'm guessing that after the snap it was completely run down, and now he's doing the cleanup job just sweeping it up, but the guy has magical powers, what, what are you doing wasting your time sweeping? You look like the bloody guy from the end of Home Alone. Now next is the wingsuit, which really builds upon the one that was in Homecoming, and it gives him the ability to glide by the looks of it. This is a slight upgrade to the black one from Far From Home, and I'm guessing that they've just added this web stuff in to make it to make it more fun looking. Now it is called Upgraded Suit, so yeah, that makes a lot of sense, and I probably should have read that before doing this video. Next is MJ, and she looks a lot more scholarly, her hair's tied back, and she's got a lovely designer coat on, as well as a v-neck jumper. We also have Ned in a football jersey, I think, think, think they're called football jerseys, I'm not American so so don't dislike the video, the, th the thumbs up's right there. And he's also got a nice 90s middle parting. Now the next suit looks really really good and this is the black and gold one. This was shown in a lot of concept art and it looks very similar to the one that Peter got at the end of the Spider-Man PS4 game. Absolutely love this design and from what I've heard this is what the character gets at the end of the movie. Now we have some more realistic looking toys, there's the Iron Spider one and also the black and gold one where we can see the red more around his fingertips. On top of this we also have J. Jonah Jameson doing his <laughs> lovely point in the air and you, you, you can look at this and know exactly what this guy's thinking. He is thinking that Spider-Man is a menace, where is that trailer as well? We've got a great close up of him and I absolutely love this figure. If, if this is a rare figure and it's up for $150 on eBay, I'm, I'm, I'm remortgaging the house to get that, I don't care. Up next is Doctor Strange holding the Eye of Agamotto, which is a bit strange as we do know that the Time Stone was taken from it. Clearly that's either been brought back or something else is inside it, and it's very intriguing that he's clasping this quite tight. We also have an Iron Spider Nerf toy gun, I think. I don't think this is going to be in the movie, but yeah, they, they kind of always do these tie-in sorts of thing. And hey, if the kids want to pretend that Spider-Man goes around shooting people with Nerf guns, then that's completely fine. We also can see that the Iron Spider legs are back, and there is a figure where he's on a motorbike. However, draw your eyes to the web slinger, and you can see that he has a glider with this, which clearly makes a tie-in with the previous figure. Now, from some of the standalone figures, it does look like Peter is going to be getting a lot of upgrades to his webs. There's one that has mystery web gear on it, and this weirdly shoots out in a sort of... It almost looks like the runes that Doctor Strange has, but we do know that it's web-related. It seems like this comes in many shapes and sizes, and from what I've heard, Sandman is in the movie. I can see Peter having to use webs like this in order to capture him, and it just makes a lot of sense that he'd have to upgrade his designs, as he is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Sinister Six. Several of these include clamps and different designs that we just haven't seen before, so it looks like the creative team could be really pushing the boat out here in terms of what Peter can do with his web slingers. Now bear in mind toys should never be taken at face value, and a lot of the times companies just sort of get a basic design and take free reign with it. This could mean that these features aren't in the movie at all, but judging by the suits and how they constantly appear, I would say that they definitely are. Now interestingly, these figures all come as part of a set, and you can see that Mysterio, Iron Man and the Vulture are among these. 
However, if you look very closely on the packaging, you will see that these figures are pulling from Spider-Man Homecoming as well as Far From Home. Typically when, you know, toy companies to think, oh, we missed the boat with the last couple of movies, so we'll just bundle it in with this No Way Home stuff and sell the figures that we couldn't sell last time. That might be a bit cynical of me to say, but don't get your hopes up that Mysterio and the Vulture are going to be in this film. Now this kind of carries across to the Lego sets which I know got a lot of publicity yesterday, however if you look very closely at the Mysterio one, you will see it says inspired by Marvel Studios Spider-Man Far From Home. This means that Lego are basically just capitalising on all the properties within the franchise and pushing out as many different toy sets as they can. Doing stuff like this also avoids spoilers as people can just say, well it's not a No Way Home, it's actually just pulling from Far From Home. However, saying that, we do have a Sanctum Sanctorum set, and we know for definite that this location will be in the film. Now this set also has a hidden passage, and from what I know of behind the scenes stuff, Peter will be going down into the basement to make some big discoveries. Don't want to spoil what they are, as it could potentially ruin the movie for you, but if you want to know, we have done a full plot leak breakdown. Now interestingly, there's also a game controller on one of the sofas, so it looks like the rumours about Peter being homeless are indeed true. Peter is of course on the run, so it makes sense that he would lay low at the Sanctum Sanctorum, as this is of course a sanctuary. Now that's all of the toys and the new looks, and I have to say, yeah, I don't care what the rest of the internet is saying, I think the suits look absolutely gorgeous. People are just saying they look a bit crappy and what we've seen before, but it makes sense that Peter would pull from his best suit and try and upgrade that. Also, I love the tie-ins with the runes, as it shows that Doctor Strange is sort of becoming a mentor to the character in the wake of the death of Tony Stark. This just makes a lot of sense, and though I don't want Peter to learn magic, perhaps Strange is just shooting his abilities onto the characters so that he can help him fight. This is of course happening on the upgraded suit, and it does make sense that they pull from science and magic to help Peter survive. Magic is just science that hasn't been classed as science yet, or something along those lines, so maybe they're just meshing the two. Now obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on the suits and the toys, so make sure you comment below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video then please smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for breakdowns like this each and every day. As a thank you for interacting with the video, you'll be entered into a prize draw on the 30th of July in which you pick 3 random comments to win an MCU box set of your choice. All you have to do to be on the chance of winning is like the video, make sure you subscribe with notifications on and drop a comment below with your thoughts on the episode. Now if you want something else to watch then make sure you check out our breakdown of Loki episode 4 which will be linked on screen right now. We've gone over the entire thing from top to bottom, so it's definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. Without the way, thank you for sticking through the video. I've been Paul, I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.